So you want to develop for the SharePoint framework, but you need a really expensive PC to do that, right? Wrong. My name's Rob Pearmain, and I've been developing for the SharePoint framework for a number of years now. Now, don't get me wrong, I do all my development on my nice, shiny, brand new MacBook Pro 16, and I really love it. And of course, I do all my editing and lots of other things on here. But what if you're running on a budget? Well, I've also invested in a Raspberry Pi recently, which I've been using to tinker around with. And I thought to myself, could you actually install the full SharePoint development environment on a $99 or 70 British pounds PC? Yes, you can. Yes, you can have the full development environment on this humble Raspberry Pi, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's dive straight in. There's basically three steps we need to go through, and I'm gonna take you through those now. The first one is we need to install Node.js. Now, the version that's required is Node.js 14 long-term support, otherwise known as Fermium. Because you may use lots of different versions of Node, I always use Node Version Manager in order to install my versions of Node on my environment. So the way you do this on your Linux install is to use the install script. So at the time of writing, the latest version I'm using of MVM is 0.3311, but by the time you listen to this, it may have moved on somewhat. So I'll put the links below uh, to show you where you can find the very latest version of MVM. So we download the script by using the curl function, which is basically copy from a URL from GitHub. And then we use bash, which is the script runner in Linux to run the script once it's downloaded. So in the terminal window, I type curl space dash zero dash, which means download this script and then uh, resume if it's interrupted. And then we go to raw.githubusercontent.com mvmsh, mvm, the version number, install.sh, and then we pipe it to bash. So once that's run, we need to install our node 14. Again, link to node below if you want to find out more. So we install the node.js 14 Fermium by typing nvm space install space 14, and it will install the latest uh, long-term support version, LTS. So at the time of this video, the version is 14.18.3, it may be 14.19 by the time you run this, but either will be fine. It's supported by the SharePoint framework. So the next thing we need to do is install the development tool chain. So this tool chain has three elements to it. There's the Gulp command line interface. This is used for running build scripts. There's the Yeoman generator. This is used for creating your code from a template. And then there's a Microsoft SharePoint templates to install that uh, Yeoman will use to create the code for you. So to install these globally, we type npm space install, you could just use i, space minus minus global, you could just use minus minus g, space gulp dash cli, space yo, yo, space at Microsoft forward slash generator dash SharePoint. So next we're going to install Visual Studio Code, but we also have to instruct Linux to update its uh, list of applications that are supported. Now, whenever you see sudo in there, that basically means run with elevated privileges if you're from a Windows background, run as the super user or the root. So we're going to type sudo space apt space update to update the application catalog. And then we're going to install Visual Studio Code by typing sudo space apt space install space code. Finally, we want to create a folder for our project. I'm using test1. And then start the Yeoman generator by typing yo. For this test, I chose a web part and called it test1, accepting all the defaults. Just something to get us up and running. Then I open Visual Studio Code by typing code space dot, and it will open code in the context of our project. If you're prompted, make sure you trust the folders. And when the project is open, go to the menu and choose terminal and start a new session. Check you're using the correct version of Node 14, and then run gulp space trust dev cert. 
This will generate a self-signed developer certificate used by the online SharePoint Workbench that communicates with your local running development environment. Note this only has to be done once. Now to test your web part, edit your serve.json file and set the URL to your own tenancy. In this case, I'm using Robert's Dev Talk, obviously. And then type gulp serve. Now note your code is now running locally on localhost 4321 port. And the online workbench tunnels through and communicates. And for this, it needs a certificate. So this is the tricky part. On Mac OS and on Windows, Gulp Trust Dev Cert not only just generates the certificate, but it also installs it for you as well. On Linux, we need to install this manually. And this took me the longest to work out, to be honest. Lots of conversations with the community, uh, with Microsoft, and basically I found a really good link. It was a Thomas Leister, I think is his name, and that pointed me in the right direction. I'll put the link below anyway, all credit to Thomas. You see, when you type gulp serve with your project, you'll get a, a red herring, an error that will basically say, oh, gulp serve isn't running. And you're thinking, yes, it is, it is running. But what it means is it can't communicate with the browser. When you actually do a bit more digging, you'll see that you'll get an error in the browser, which is essentially saying error blocked by client. It means it doesn't recognize the SSL certificate. It's missing. So how do we install this in Linux? Well, the certificate has been created, but not installed, as we mentioned before. But when you run Gulp Trust Dev Cert, it actually creates a certificate and sticks it in the root folder dot rush stack. So we need to go to that folder. Next, we need to create a destination in the certificate store for these to be copied to. And we do this by typing sudo make dir or mkdir forward slash user forward slash local forward slash share forward slash ca certificates forward slash extra. Then we need to copy the certificate to our new store, changing its extension to CRT. And we do this by doing sudo space cp for copy space rush tax serve dot pem forward slash user forward slash local forward slash share forward slash CA certificates, forward slash extra, forward slash rush stack dash serve dot CRT. And then finally, we install it by forcing the certificate store to update with sudo space update dash CA dash certificates space minus F. Now, as a final step, we need to install the cert util utility. We do this by using the library lib nss3 tools, and we install this by saying sudo space apt space install space lib nss3 dash tools. Then we need to create an install script and I do this in my rush stack folder to keep everything together. I use the nano editor and I type sudo space nano space install spfx dot sh. Now the script, as I say, was thanks to Thomas and I've put a link below for that. So. I'm going to copy and paste this script. I'll put this in a Medium article for you so you can get the exact script to install here as well. OK, but essentially it goes through all the different browser types and installs a certificate to those browsers. So in order to be able to execute this script, we need to do sudo chmod plus x install spfx dos sh. And this means that we can run it and then we run the script. Once completed, you'll get some information about a private key. Now change back to your code folder by using CD and type gulp serve. Now in your tenancy, you can add your web part without any security errors and you can test your web part. So in conclusion, forget two and a half thousand dollars for a MacBook Pro. You can actually do a full SharePoint development environment on a Linux box, in this case, a $99 Raspberry Pi. I'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this video, then please do give us a like. And if you like this kind of content, then do make sure you subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss out on a video. And if you want to join us on our developer journey, see the link below. And if you're feeling generous, buy us a coffee. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time. Happy coding. We'll see you next time.